What's up, guys and gals? It's, it's Mystic Fat to bring you to bring you a Black Clover episode six and seven review. Now, the reason why I didn't do a review last week is because I felt like episode six and seven uh, go together. You know, like they because they're trying to give a nice, uh, let's say, a nice life value. I know that many of us know the life value already, but you no know, shonen is intended for obviously the shonen genre is intended for kids. So you no, know, they will always give that same the same example in a different way. And so I felt like episode six and seven, they were trying to teach us about what acceptance is and what is is all about. You know, and that no matter who you are, where you're born, or you know your birth, or uh, where you where you come from, or or anything like that. You know, it doesn't give anybody the right to make you feel worthless. You know, and that's what we learned today with Noel's family. They make her feel worthless because you know she couldn't control her magic the right way. Oh, she, she she couldn't. She has all this magic potential, all this magic, and yet she can't really control it. So you know, I felt like episode six and seven, the, the, again, they were just being combined. I combined them as a one because they both taught us about acceptance. Now, when it comes to episode six, you know, it was asked at the time for being accepted. Episode was accepted in episode five. Five, yeah, he was accepted in episode five by, J by Jami, you know, uh, about him becoming a magic knight, and because he has worked so hard to er to earn where he is at right now, you know, he wasn't being really accepted or recognized by the other people. They thought the same as he was nobody, you know, and so episode five, Jami said to him. Episode six, the whole crew said to him. Then episodes, uh, I mean episode five, the whole crew said to him. Episode six, yeah, episode six, the whole crew said to him. Then episode seven, it was not else time, you know. And she, she was working hard, as we've seen, you know. I yes, I understand she was acting all cocky and all snappy because she was a royal and, and all, but you know, I feel like that's the way she, she acted, like to act strong uh, in front of other people because she has suffered so much in front of her brothers already, from her siblings. That made her feel worthless, and so you know. So when uh, Asta saw her training, and that she that she noticed Asta was seeing her, she started to think back, and I'm gonna be called I'm gonna be called worthless again, and what now? I know, and then she just started thinking left and right. I might be called this, I might be called that. And then when everybody saw her, that um, when she, all her magic, you know, just went out of control, she even then she said, "I'm not gonna die with the." Me being acknowledged by anybody, you know, so I feel like she was just trying to get acknowledged by somebody. Sure, people might see that as she was being a Sandre because I mean, sure, people are like, you know, because I, I, when I watched the um, the episode, I was reading the comments and like, oh, it, it wouldn't be an anime without a Sandre. I'm like, dude, they literally showed you why she has that character, you know, the, the, why that why she is that way right now, but you know. It's glad that she was accepted by everybody, even Asta. Asta was the person to accept her uh, because he, he even said, you have amazing magic, I have no magic at all, I'm so jealous. You know, and then everybody decided to accept her because, hey, the Black Bulls is basically a whole squad of failures, you know? So, just because she's a, just because she's a, just because she's a royal doesn't really mean that she, that, she's can, uh, that she can have everything, you know? Sure. You know, uh, sure that uh, the manga and basically the anime is basically is all focused around hard work when it comes to the protagonist because the protagonist has no magic at all whatsoever. But then this girl, she's a royal and she has a lot of magic. She has a lot of talent because Black Clover, all the um, royalty have that big amount of magic. Who knew, right? But anyways, yeah. Uh, so so the, there, there comes this girl that is also a failure, but there, she's a royal. So you know, it that's it. It shows us that if the, that just because you're a royal doesn't mean that you're not able to fail. You know that that you cannot fail. That you cannot be good at. That you are good at everything. You know that you have your flaws and everything. And I like what Mana said that hey, we're full of failures. You know, but nobody's gonna care if you have a flaw or two. We're still gonna accept you. You know, because I, I really like that. Um, right. What was the other thing that I that I missed? We also see the Jun is trying to be accepting to his own squad as well. Uh, Klaus is not really accepting who he is right now. Uh, I mean, I, I already know what happens, but 
I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, you know, Klaus is basically not accepting Juno. Juno is trying. To, I mean, Juno's not really trying to get accepted or anything. You know, he he just being you know he just being he the cool character he is. You know, well, at least he's trying to. Uh, at least he respects. You know, he respects the people, and so even though people don't give him respect, he respects them. It, as his case is also the same. You know, he gets respect. He doesn't really care much when people talk about him because he has he is already uh, accustomed to people talking uh, trash about him. You know, because he's a he's a slut. He was born and raised in the slums. Um, so let me see what else is there. Um, yeah, that's basically it. There isn't really much more of anything. Let me see. Let me see. I missed. I missed anything. No, 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 no. I missed anything. Nope. No, I really did not miss anything. So that was oh, we also oh right, I was talking about this important detail. Um, Aston Juno wrote letters <laughs> to the to the family in the church, and of course, you know everybody thinks Juno is the cool guy. He's the one like, with the most talent, the genius. So everybody was happy about him. Oh, he made it. He made it into the Magic Knight squads, and like oh, I can't wait for Aston to come back. I know we gotta we gotta um uh we gotta cheer him up, and I'm right here like. Damn, you have no trust in Asta whatsoever. Why? You know, and then when he met it, when when they read that he met into the Magic Knights, they were also surprised. And sure, they they were happy, you know, you know, but they they were thinking that he was gonna fail. And you know, and when it comes to Nash, Nash is like, yes, he made it. That means I have a chance as well because that's the promise that he made in episode. Let me see, episode three. Episode three. That's the promise that they made. You know that if Aston makes it to the Magic Knights, Nash is gonna work hard as well to make it there. You know to be there as well. And so yeah, that's basically it. the 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 priest went to uh, basically talk about Aston. You know they made it into the Magic Knights, and that's it. Yeah, so I think that that's all. If I missed anything, let me know in the question below. As always, it was a good chapter. Um, I mean, it was a good episode. Nothing to say. I mean, they're following the manga closely. They're following the manga to the T, so there isn't really nothing negative to say about it. Of course, we're gonna be like, oh, the uh, the pace is so bad, but I mean, hey, at least we're getting one uh, one chapter, uh, an episode, you know? That's not so bad. When you think about it, it's gonna, it's gonna have 51 episodes. So at least this way, they don't. I don't think they're gonna have any fillers, because the manga right now is at 133, and if they're gonna make this, let me see, 51 chapter, 51 episodes? Feel like they're gonna make it to chapter like 100 or something like this, but they're gonna take their time with you know building building characters and stuff like that. But yeah, that was it for the uh, reviews. Let me know if I missed anything in episode six and seven. As always, sort of think about Noel, you know, about her character, the way she was in the beginning, as to how she changed in the end. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is gonna is next for the Black Bulls when it comes to the first mission? Because that's the uh, title of the, of the next episode. It's called Go Go First Mission. And it's, yeah, that's it. I'm Mystic Fire. Thanks for checking my content, and I'll see you guys and gals later for more reviews and more content.